The scar cream you can start to apply to your incision, a very thin amount, doesn't matter how thick you put it on, the only part that matters is the part up against the incision, but you don't want to use it for the first two weeks, let your body do its own healing, and by the time you come back for your two-week post-op appointment, that's when you can start the scar cream. Aren't you lucky you get a lanyard if you have drains. If you have drains from your tummy tuck or a neck procedure or a semi-neck lift, then we'll attach the drain to the lanyard so you're not having to walk around with the drains. But that lanyard will be around your neck and when you shower at night, keep the lanyard on your neck. It can get wet, the drains can get wet. We just don't want to ever want the drains dangling because then they could come out and that causes a lot of problems. Depending on what operation you have, you'll have a garment. It might just be around your neck and head. It might be around your arms, your breast, your abdomen, your torso, your butt. You know, whatever operation you have, you'll have a garment to kind of help squeeze out that swelling, tighten things up. It actually reduces pain by giving it some security there. You'll wear that all the time for the first month if you're doing a body contouring procedure. You wear it all the time for the first month, uh, except for in the shower. And then during the second month, you'll taper off and either wear it all during the day or all during the night or you can just keep wearing it all the time. You can never wear your garment too much. You might actually like it. There'll also be an instruction sheet in there. It'll be answers to frequently asked questions in regards to your specific operation. You can read through that ahead of time and then also re refer back to it after the operation, but also at the top, it'll have your post-op appointment date, which depending on your operation will either be one day later, three days later, seven days later, or two weeks later. Zofran is the best medication on the market for nausea and you're thinking, oh, I'm nauseated, I might throw up, how can I swallow a pill? That's the best part about Zofran. It's a little tablet, you put it under your tongue, it dissolves, you don't even have to swallow it and you'll start feeling better in minutes. Not everybody needs antibiotics after their operation, but if your operation is one that we do provide you with antibiotics, there'll be two antibiotics. One is called Cipro, the other is called Bactrim. It covers a broad spectrum of bacteria like MRSA, MRSA, things like that. Uh, but they're great antibiotics. They've been around a long time. They've been well studied. They're safe. And you'll take each of them twice a day, uh, once in the morning and once at night for the first seven days. Want you to get off the pain medicine as soon as possible because it does cause constipation but in the meantime you'll have Percocet given to you. We can provide you with an extra prescription if necessary but it has to be a written prescription we can't call in Percocet but again really want you to get off the pain medicine as soon as possible get rid of the constipation and then you can switch to regular Tylenol or ibuprofen but do not take regular Tylenol and Percocet together because that's too much Tylenol. Last but not least, there'll be some random goodies in there, some samples that hopefully you will enjoy.